There are two main reasons uh, that there's even talk about trying to revolutionize the vaccine approach. Uh, the first is obviously there are a number of pathogens out there that we still haven't had a vaccine against. You look at um, HIV, malaria, even dengue, which has a vaccine but doesn't really work that well, uh, and numbers of others. There, there is a class of infectious agents out there that we cannot yet protect people from with vaccines well. And the second are these um, evanescent, dramatic uh, epidemics or pandemics that come out and tend to grab a lot of headlines. So whether it was bird flu a number of years ago or Ebola or most recently Zika, there is this sort of rapid surge of some infection that spreads around. And by the time the traditional vaccine industry can get organized and develop a vaccine five or 10 years later, sometimes it's too late, or at a minimum, they've missed a lot of the suffering that's already occurred. In many ways, it's, it's digitalizing vaccines. We're going from external, um, very old fashioned approaches to using the body's, the body's own machinery to do exactly what the body does when it's infected. What mRNA gives us is real precision which allows us to really create the vaccines we want to create. We can do it very, very fast. If those pathogens change, we can change it. It's highly adaptable. And we can get to a scale, a very large scale, very quickly. So that means that, in theory, we can get to far more people more quickly with more vaccines and adjust if we need to adjust. Because we're producing these vaccines in exactly the same way each time, it means we can put together vaccines that we might not have been able to put together before simply because they weren't, weren't compatible before. It's a whole level, um, a whole new paradigm compared to existing vaccines which are slow, unpredictable. Um, there's a much greater component of art in today's vaccines than, than mRNA which is much more engineering and science. I think you know, the ultimate promise is, is going after these unmet needs. There are so many hundreds of thousands, millions of people suffering from diseases that vaccines so far cannot prevent. Um, I think mRNA vaccines, they offer a tantalizing prospect at going after some of these uh, worldwide scourges that traditional vaccines haven't solved. The idea of, of, of reinventing vaccines is incredibly exciting. Any other biotech company would be thinking one product, one disease at a time. We're able to think how broad can we go? How fast can we go? How big a difference can we make? It, it's, it's an amazing and unique opportunity.